day. It's like your first day of school. Ah, uh, you look so good. Hershey's. Oh, nice, nice. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get whoa, um, and get ready for the day. Ryan just texted me and said he's already at work. It took him literally like 10 minutes, which is what the traffic said, but he like didn't believe it because he's used to like Atlanta traffic. But anyways, I'm going to drink my shake and go ahead and put on some makeup and get ready for the day. It's about that time. It's about that time. In a minute, I'm gonna need a. Anyways, I'm going to make some lunch. I'm gonna make my favorite chickpea salad. <laughs> salad is done normally i just store it in like a big glass container but yeah it's so good i'm gonna go ahead and eat some of this just straight out of the bowl like you saw um and then i'm gonna save the rest for the rest of the week hi it's coffee time back to the office i go <laughs> My heating blanket is on. Yes, heating blanket, which is why Heidi's laying there. It's very cold in here. I knew it would be, I said this in a couple vlogs ago, that my like Austin, or sorry, Dallas attire is going to be like tank top always underneath and then jacket so that when I'm working, I know I'm gonna be cold. Obviously heat rises and it goes like straight up to the loft area uh, where our bedroom is and we don't want it to be really hot at night. So we run the AC 24 seven. So basically it's cold. I'm going to drink my coffee. Okay, I just got done with just a quick ab workout and that's all I did just to ease back into a nice workout routine. While I'm here or while we're here for the summer, I'm really going to try to use this time to like get back in a routine with like my daily devotionals and my workouts, especially like bringing those back into consistency. So day one, Monday, um, just did a quick workout for me. I am not one that's like, let's go hard at the gym for like an hour or go anywhere. That's very intimidating to me. So I have a much better chance at working out if I A, start slowly when I'm getting back into it. Like I just did like a 12 or 15 minute, like just all ab burner kind of thing. Nothing like too crazy, not like some full blown 45 minute hit workout or something like that. I just start light and then I work out from home and that works best for me is just like chill, simple workout from home workouts. And I use the Tone It Up app. I know I've mentioned that before on here, but I love it finally like admitting to myself that I am not a gym person and just accepting the fact that like I just wanna work out at home made me work out 10 times better because I wasn't trying to like become someone that I like I just am not <laughs> to my core. I'm just not a big gym person. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and make dinner. I'm going to make a chicken and potatoes and green beans instant pot dish. So I literally throw all the ingredients in the instant pot and it's really easy, simple, quick, healthy, and that's what I'm gonna do. Good morning! Today is 
Wednesday. So I finished up my protein shake and I've just been doing some work. I did my devotional. So I've been doing that. I'm about to take some of my morning supplements that I haven't taken yet. I break up my supplements for like breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and take some supplements. I'm gonna take some vitamin D that helps with inflammation, especially if you are if you have an autoimmune disease or if you're in like any kind of like inflammatory flare, vitamin D is good for reducing inflammation. I'm gonna take my multivitamin. I'm gonna take my nettle leaf, which is good for kidney support and helping your kidneys to detox. And then I think I'm gonna take a thyroid supplement as well. Okay, here's what I'm gonna take this morning. So my vitamin D from Pure Encapsulations. Pure Encapsulations makes a lot of good quality supplements. Uh, my multivitamin and a couple others that are also this brand. And then I'm going to take this one, this thyroxyl is for my thyroid. And then I take two of the nettle leaf. Um, this is good for also for like overall inflammation and decreasing inflammation as well as helping your kidneys and kidney support. And then I forgot about mentioning this one earlier. So this is the Methylsorb spray. So I do three sprays of this and it's basically a B vitamin complex for the most part. So these are the ones I'm going to take this morning. Time for coffee. Um, it's 12, 12, 16. I'm feeling excited guys. I'm feeling good. Feeling excited because the world of nutrition has just really meant a lot to me personally in my own journey and it has just sparked a lot of dreams and desires and passions to do something in the nutrition field eventually and kind of switch career paths which is just super exciting to like have a dream that like I want so badly is like really exciting and it's kind of, it's not really scary because I like 100% that like believe that I can do it. Um, and so I've been looking into a lot of schooling programs and training programs and certifications and different things and trying to figure out exactly what route I want to take in the nutrition field. And yeah, I'm just really excited. I feel like if I can make all this work and do what I really wanna do, which I think anybody can do what they wanna do when it's something that they're super passionate about. I feel like you can do anything. Right, it is time for lunch. So on Monday, I think, I made my favorite chickpea salad. Um, I normally just eat it plain, straight out of whatever bowl I made it, um, made it in. I like it plain, but you can definitely put it on like gluten-free bread or regular bread if you're not gluten-free. You could also do like gluten-free pretzels. Anyways, I'm gonna finish this for lunch and then just keep working. Okay, it is nighttime. Um, but I just finished showering. Ryan's playing Xbox downstairs, so I am going to actually work on some branding stuff for myself and just work on my laptop for a little bit. I'm probably gonna watch Gilmore Girls on my phone for a little bit too while I vibe with Gilmore Girls and or some worship music. So yeah, I'm gonna go work on some stuff downstairs. I only have one of these left. These Unreal Dark Chocolate Coconut Bars. If y'all have never tried these, they're so good. Gluten-free, vegan, dairy-free, all that good stuff. I only have one left because they're, because they're like bite size and they're tiny. So I eat like three at a time <laughs> to make up to be like one normal sized bar, but they're so good. Today is like the first sunny day in Dallas since we got here. So I've got my shake. I've already taken Heidi out and Heidi has been freaking out this morning. There are squirrels here. I'll show you this big tree is like right outside the window. So she can see the squirrels at like 
eye level so this tree so Heidi, yep, here she is. She sits here all morning guarding the house and she's been watching the squirrels that like live in this tree. So she absolutely loves it. All right, it's time for lunch. Um, I'm finishing up my Applegate deli meat. Um, I finished my chickpea salad yesterday on Wednesday, um, but I still have some deli meat left. So I'm just gonna do kind of a hodgepodge lunch so just meat and then i've got some carrots and cucumbers that i chopped up and then hummus and then i've also got some fruit so i'm just gonna do a little hodgepodge lunch so normally right after i get all my groceries for the week i normally go ahead and like wash and rinse the carrots and then i'll wash and slice up the cucumbers and just go ahead and put them into these little containers and then I normally go ahead and put some water in the bottom of these and it just kind of helps them not dry out during the week. So yeah, little tip, but I normally go ahead and kind of prep this for like easy snacking. I'm almost done with my original flavor hummus. I honestly think that's one of my favorites is just like the plain from the Cedars brand. And then I've also got some garlic. So I'm just gonna eat some hummus as well. If you are someone who is trying to eat healthier, switching to veggies with like some of your favorite snacks snacks already is a really easy swap. So I used to only eat pita chips with hummus in college when I would eat hummus. And then when I went gluten-free, obviously last year, I obviously couldn't eat pita chips. Let's be real, like it's always a hard transition no matter what. And at first I remember I tried like peppers and I like bell peppers, but I feel like I didn't like them the best with hummus. Eventually once I started doing cucumbers with hummus, I found out that I liked those a lot better because they're very mild. And then eventually I got so tired of slicing the cucumbers that I switched to carrots because carrots, I didn't really have to do anything with and so now they're like two of my favorite things to eat with hummus now but it's always a transition so don't feel bad or guilty if you're like oh i don't like this as much because that's pretty much everyone's journey when they're starting out is it's like yeah it's different like it's something different it's something new and most of the time it just takes some time to acquire that taste and eventually you learn to like crave the healthy stuff because your body will transition you just have to give it a little bit of time Good morning, it's Friday, Friday, it's Friday. And I have the car this morning just for a little bit. Ryan needs it to go to work, so it's early, but I'm doing some grocery pickups this morning. So I'll show you everything I got, but I've got my little protein shake because I think I'm gonna swing by La La Land Coffee, which I'm super excited about. I feel like I see all the like Dallas influencers and YouTubers go to La La Land Coffee. There's a few locations, I think, um, but there's one close to us. So I wanted to drink a smaller protein shake this morning so that I'm not putting coffee on an empty stomach, but I do wanna swing by and bring it back home and drink it while I work and whatnot. But I wanted to go ahead and put some supplements and protein in my system. So I'll show you what I got from Whole Foods first. So I got some Bonza mac and cheese. So this is all plant-based, dairy-free, gluten-free. So I got the cheddar one, like vegan cheddar and then vegan white cheddar. So I'm so excited to try these. I got some parchment paper and then I got some gluten-free lasagna noodles. I am going to try out a new recipe doing Instant Pot lasagna. Um, so we'll see how that goes, but I got these for that. I got my favorite vegan chosen foods mayo. Got some spices and some seasonings. Uh, I got some dates and mini chocolate chips, and then I got some shredded coconut. I'm going to try and make my own little uh, like chocolate coconut dessert using the dates and all this. I got some squash and zucchini for dinner. Um, I got some more of the salt and vinegar siete chips, and then the Boulder Canyon. I'm gonna try the sea salt and cracked pepper chips this time, and then more of like the hippies vegan white cheddar chickpea puffs. And then they had these too, which I'm super excited about. These are gluten-free, dairy-free enchilada meals. And then I got some cauliflower pizza crust. And then I got some ground beef. The ground beef is for uh, the lasagna that I'm gonna try to do. 
And then I got some more hummus and I saw that they had the fat free and oil free. I don't really care, I guess, about like the fat free, but I was curious about the oil free because a lot of the times they've got inflammatory oils and like sunflower oil and stuff. And this one's oil free. So I'm really curious about this. And then from Kroger, I got a lot of chickpeas. Got my favorite plant-based sour cream. And then we have some pepperonis for pizza, some more Applegate turkey for lunches, got some coconut milk, onions, cocoa powder for my chocolate date balls, some salt, some garlic, got some pizza sauce, and then I got some marinara sauce for the lasagna. So that's it. Okay, I just made this like dairy-free dill dip that I wanted to try out as just another option for me to eat veggies with. It is really good. It's kind of strong. I didn't follow the exact recipe, um, but once I perfect it to my liking, I'll probably just make my own little recipe card for it, but I'll go ahead and link the actual like Pinterest recipe, but I would say kind of go easy on the salt because I think the onion granules really gives it like some, some saltiness already in the dill and everything. But in general, I like it. I used um, the Primal Kitchen mayo and then my dairy-free sour cream. All right, I am going to do a, just a quick, small workout. I think I'm gonna do abs and then I'm gonna cook dinner. Then I think Ryan and I are going to watch the new Obi-Wan show that's coming out on Disney Plus, I think but I'm gonna go ahead and do my workout. Family walk time. All right, it is time for dinner. So I'm going to make some chicken and rice and then some squash and zucchini. But the kicker is this is my first time cooking with their pots and pans and they have stainless steel pots and pans. And I personally have never cooked stainless steel and I know that they're not naturally nonstick. I think there are some ways that you can like make them nonstick, but Fingers crossed that all my food doesn't like stick and burn. I'm mostly concerned about the chicken. So I'm actually gonna bake the chicken in the oven and then do like the rice and squash on the stove. Well, that was the most stressful dinner ever. Low? on this gas stove still is definitely boiling. And so I was making rice and rice is definitely supposed to like simmer on low for like 15 minutes and it was like boiling. And so I had to keep turning the gas like completely off to like let it sit and then kind of like turn it back on, turn it back off. Thankfully I put the chicken in the oven so that that wasn't stressful because literally just cooking the rice and then the vegetables was enough stress. And I accidentally put like oil in the pan way too early and it was super hot and then there was like a massive flame and I was like we're all gonna die so <laughs> it looks good question is will it taste good I think the chicken and zucchini and squash will be fine but the rice I think is a little undercooked <sighs> but that's dinner all right well that is going to be it for this video thank you guys so much for coming along this week be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and i will see you in my next video bye